Alrighty, so KSI, I guess, had some pretty strong words for Deji. I have not watched the entire video yet. I've been saving my initial and immediate reaction uh, for the video. I saw some snippets um, of reactions from other people. So I was like, ooh, boy, what's going on here? Also, uh, I didn't get a chance to watch Deji's fight in completion live. After Tommy's fight, obviously, I was quite upset. Um, and then it got pretty chaotic, and I was trying to find the guy. So if you could, like, pan out from the fight, there would be, like, a video of me just running around the outside of the ring looking for my team hoping they didn't leave to go back to the hotel and leave me stranded so i rewatched the fight in completion today so i can get a full perspective of what jj saw now I, that i've seen the full fight um i can kind of get an idea of probably what he's going to be getting at uh but we'll see well, let me talk about the event uh the event was entertaining but a mess at the same time the fight with uh jake paul's sparring partner that was atrocious both men weren't even trying and jake paul's sparring partner still lost so that was pretty funny terrible to watch and uh yeah, yeah another loss. i also heard there was an agreement uh, made by both guys obviously there was but i think it was official that they agreed to go less than 50 percent or something like that and uh to hear that and to think that they got paid uh, it's crazy jj you didn't say anything about uh temper and kenny hmm interesting but kenny and temper that was definitely controversial bro come on what do you think what did you what was your score tell us tell the people what was on your scorecard hi uh deji i <clears throat> I'm, I'm disappointed. That's honestly how I feel, man. I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, but it's it's the truth. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I I expected more from you. First of all, tactic-wise, how did you think... First off, that's fair. We wanted to see a knockout. Deji was claiming he's going to come out and put some big punches and put the pressure on. Uh, he was going to, you know, take him out of there. I'm proud of him for the progress he's made, but it's obviously disappointing to see him not do the things that he set out to do and not see him get that victory. What was the game plan? You're the shorter fighter. You, you've got a smaller reach. So then tell me, why were you slipping backwards? Why were you constantly slipping out of range? Like, this is how I know you don't even watch boxing in general. Like, I was just watching you fight and I just saw you weren't using your brain at all. Like, how are you going to win a fight against a taller, a taller fighter on the outside? That's, you just stayed on the outside range. You rarely went in. And then whenever you did go in, you would just ruin all your hard work by holding him, by, by clinching. You just- I will say, I just watched the fight and I thought that was gonna be the main topic that JJ was gonna talk about. Deji's defense did look better and it happens sometimes when guys like to work on their defense and their defense improves uh, the term is called you fall in love with your defense you're getting better at not being hit so you just focus on being elusive and you don't have a big offensive output and you don't really focus on doing damage trying to land significant punches you just focus on oh i cannot get hit i can stay safe i'm comfortable out here i can try to land some punch on the outside and when it gets close i'm just gonna clinch Right, because I want to get back out to safety, back out the distance, and get back where I'm not getting touched. Um, and that's one of the issues that that comes with being so evasive. You can get really confident and comfortable with being evasive, and you forget your offense. And then he was out muscling you in the clinch. Like when it comes to fighting a taller fighter, you have to take one punch to give two. That's just it. That's just what you have to deal with. You have to slip inside to. To get in range, you have to outwork him. Where was the overhands? Where was where was the body work? Where were the hooks? You literally did nothing but avoid punches. Like, do you th did you actually think you would win by just doing that? I'm sorry, but your whole game plan was wrong. If your game plan was to not punch, then what the fuck are you doing entering the ring? Alex Wasabi is shit, okay? I've made a whole video on this guy laughing at him. He's a joke. This was meant to be your easy fight. And you lost. Now notice. And I will say that the frustration comes from the lack of intensity towards trying to get the win. You feel like you're losing. Uh, you're not really landing punches. You kind of have to some point throw caution to the wind and start really making the fight dirty. When I mean by dirty, I mean by brawling the boxer, which means I'm going to go in there and try to get into the clinch, but not to clinch, but get into that close range, get into that pocket and just start throwing punches, throwing those hooks, those combinations, hoping something will land and be willing to take a few punches to give a few. And it, it seemed like he wasn't willing 
to do that. It seemed like he wanted to fight a safe fight. Um, when I was watching the fight, I was like, mm, it looks like he's trying to fight it safely. There was moments we tried to throw some throw some things but it didn't look like somebody who was trying to go for the win it just looked like someone who was boxing and he did make some progress uh, technically as a boxer and he's working on his defense so i don't know if that just kind of took over since that's what he's been working on more recently with daily clearly that came from daily the slipping and the head movement and the clinching and, and just the boxing part of it but the willingness to just go for the win and just not just the win in boxing but to do damage to throw punches with bad intention and to kind of say, I'm going to bite down on my mouthpiece, and you and me are going to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and I believe I'm going to come out on top. I can see that coming from JJ because that's how he wins his fights, right? When he fought Logan, he didn't win it at being the better boxer. He won it by being the better brawler and bringing that type of intensity. And Logan admitted that that intensity threw him off, seeing that look on somebody's eye that, like, they're trying to take your head off right now. Um, and even when Logan didn't land the knockdown and JJ got rocked. He's back up there taking punches. JJ, you can tell he was going for the win, right? And that willingness to sacrifice for the win and push for it. Though Deji has made all the progress outside of the ring and he made some improvements technique-wise, that willingness and that dog per se in the actual fight and his acceptance just to allow the fight to go as it, as it was and not, you know, try to challenge Alex in any way and making it more of a brawling fight because it was clear Alex wanted a technical fight he wanted it to go to the he didn't think he had knockout power uh, he wanted to use his distance he used his reach these are things he mentioned Deji wasn't able to do that and I can see why JJ is so frustrated because it's important to him you know you probably you sparred with him and with Deji so he really wants he, you know more than anyone he, I would love to see Deji win but when it's your brother, you really want to see him win. So that's where his frustration comes from. You actually made Alex Wasabi look good. You made this man <laughs> look good. This man. I will say I did not expect this to be a roast of Alex Wasabi. Uh, but clearly this is where animosity and the frustration is coming from. It's not that you just lost. It's that he lost to this guy right here. The thing is, I don't understand how you've somehow got people telling you that you performed better. Yes, slipped better. Yes, the slipping, phenomenal. But that was it, Ninja. That was it. You didn't really show fitness because you didn't punch. So we didn't get to. <laughs> I will say I, again, I hadn't see the. I didn't see the whole fight. I didn't see much of the fight at all. I know that he made it all the rounds, and, it, and based off the decision, it sounded like he won a few rounds. Again, but those judges were doing, I wasn't sure. But the fact that he made it to a full fight <laughs> was a positive, right? He didn't get finished because his last two fights, not only did he lose, right? He got, it was a TKO. Technically, it was, he got finished in both fights. So to lose two fights and not make it to the end. I don't know if Deji was just trying to feel like, okay, I don't want to lose this fight as bad as before. You know, I don't know what was going through his mind when things weren't going his way and he wasn't able to land punches. You can fool your audience, Deji, but you, you can't fool me, man. You simply just didn't do enough. So Deji, let's just stop with this whole narrative that you did better in this fight than you did in the last fight. Because first of all, like anything would have been better than your last fight. Bro, you gave up. After taking a one minute break, you went on your knees and <laughs> needed more break. And secondly, you're still lost. You're still lost. You're 0-3, Deji. You've lost three times. You know, the first one, first time, that I was properly proud of you because I could see that you put your all into it. You put 110%. Yes, you lost, but it was close and you tried. Second fight, bro, dismiss that. That, that don't count. See, that's interesting because in the first fight against Jake, I was there uh, with uh, KSI and Deji. I happened to be at the Simon house at the time uh, when JJ was having an argument with uh, their mom on the phone about uh, Deji. Because JJ was upset that Deji wasn't training. He wasn't doing everything. And uh, he wasn't listening to coach. I think Vidal and Leon at the time. And he was uh, having a hard time with it. And that's when uh, Deji left the Simon house. And went to go train um, on a different camp. So this was the first time that it seemed like Deji was confident uh, going into camp. His tra Clearly, he lost the weight. Um, so mentally, there was a shift in terms of him approaching the bite and his confidence. And I don't know if the fear... Uh, in the previous fight, like with Vinny, he just thought, I'm going to try to knock him out in the first two rounds. So he just started throwing like crazy, landed some punches, but that was it, right? I don't know if the, the game plan this time was to let's try to make sure we box a full fight, 
right? I'm confident. I'm in shape. I can do this. Um, I can outbox him. I can, you know, I can outwork him. That didn't really work, and he never, you know, turned it into that second, third, fourth gear. Um, but it seemed like the game plan was different, right? With with Jake, he gassed out in the fifth, right? I believe. Uh, but that first performance wasn't too bad from Deji. Um, it just, again, his confidence wasn't there, and he wasn't prepared. The video, you were like, "Oh, congrats, you know, my guy. Uh, you hit me like eight times, though, but <laughs> good, well played." Bro, you lost. What are you doing? What are you doing? At least he hit you. At least he hit you. Did you hit him? Did you even throw to hit him? Like, what one? Cool, you evaded his shots. Then what? What did you do then? You just looked at him. You just stared at him, fam. You didn't do the most basic thing in boxing. Punching. He, he fully just outworked you. So, at least be humble in defeat, man. You... I don't know if you can tell, but this is coming from a place of love. Because I know for a fact, I could tell that JJ ringside. I didn't, couldn't see him. But I know that JJ ringside was, must have been quite uh, frustrated seeing Deji not turn it up. You know, especially when he's losing. Because, uh, you know, JJ has that in him. If he's losing, he feels like he's losing, he's going to be go crazy. Right? He's going to do everything he can to try to knock you out. Besides, like, a headbutt. Right? Anything illegal. He's going to try to go crazy to... to to do whatever he can, wild punches. He has the wild punches and technique. He's not going to try to be smooth with it. He's going to go forget it. You know, we saw that even in the first Logan Paul versus KSI, number one. First two rounds, Logan's just jabbing him, standing outside. JJ trying to do his thing. He's like, forget it. It's not working. I'm just going to start ducking and chucking. And this is going to be a really hard night for Logan. It's going to be a hard night for both of us. But so be it, right? JJ has that mentality where... Like, okay, if I'm going down, you're coming with me, bro. Like, <laughs> that type of mentality is, is heartbreaking, man. That's what it looks like. Honestly, with JJ here, it doesn't look like a place of arrogance or uh, trying to, you know, kick Deji down. It looks like it's coming from a place of heartbreak. And JJ looks pretty upset by this. So I don't know about you, but the vibe that I got from this was just straight up heartbreak, man. Uh, as someone who has a younger brother as well and... I got older brothers, but just family. It's tough because you want the best. Um, and it could be so easy for JJ just to, you know, be like, I'm so proud of you, bro. And, you know, you made some progress and things like that. But to stick your foot down and to give him some tough love, that is hard. He's doing what he thinks is best. And he's not, JJ doesn't care about the backlash or how it seems or how he comes off. And people think that he's kicking him while he's down. He does not care. He's giving Deji the honest truth, but he thinks he's also giving him the best advice. And that is hard to do. I'm interested to see Deji's response. Um, I haven't talked to him at all. I would like to reach out to him and talk to him and see how he feels about what JJ said. Hopefully he talks to him first, you know. So if he really wants to do it for himself, you know, go for it. If, that, if that's what he wants and that'll make him happy and that's the right thing for him to do, then he should. And uh, I think this motivates JJ even more. So love to see that. I can't wait to see him fight again. Leave a like and subscribe. Oos.